Discord. Okay, fine. Oh, Lori, hello, my dear. All right, so we're going to get started. This is going to be super informal and it won't be long, but I just wanted to I just wanted to say thank you to everyone. Um, I woke up this morning and I said, I said, today's the day, you know, today's the day that um, three years ago I was sitting in the family room and I started this group and my son was here this morning and I mentioned it to him. I said, hey, today's my anniversary. And he's like, um, he goes, you know, mom, you taught for almost 40 years and, you know, you, I'm sure you affected a lot of kids, but, but nothing like this. <laughs> so I thought, that was pretty cool for him to say that. So, yeah, so from one person in 2019 to 168, 900, we're really super close to 169. So um, that'll probably be happening tomorrow. All right, here we go. Oh, how do I move this? Um, this is supposed to be easy. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Hang on, let me figure this out. Uh, no. Oh, this is going to be a disaster if I can't figure this out. All right, let me see here. All right, I may just have to do this, folks. I'm so sorry. Can you, you can't see? No, you could see. Sorry, share screen. That's you would think good. after three years, I'd know how to do this stuff. All right, we're just going to go with this because I'm afraid how to do this. All right. So what I wanted to do today was to thank the members and moderators for all that you do day and night around the globe. And that's no kidding. We got people that are on day and night. So um, our first moderator today, um, I'd like to share a little bit about the work that literally goes on day and night and um, that make this group successful. So our first one is Mitchell Brookins. He's out of New, New Orleans, originally um, hails from Chicago, which is my hometown. And he's a teacher first and always refining his practices. Uh, this is evidenced in his wonderful queries to our science moderators chat group. His motivation to help all kids learn to read is always foremost in his world. Mitchell is currently working on his dissertation for his PhD edu in, in educational administration, and we're so glad he's a moderator for us. So our next star is Dr. Matt Burns, and he's a professor from uh, the College of Education at the University of Missouri. He brings, to, uh, he brings his experiences as a school psychologist, administrative uh, experience and a researcher skills to our team and has been such an asset to our group. He was a contributor to the Paths to Reading Excellence for School Sites or PRESS, which it's known as P-R-E-S-S, -S, and an MTS school system that's used as an MTS school system. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen that, but it's a, it's a curriculum, not a, I guess you could call it a curriculum that um, helps schools do a a nice um, systematic explicit MTSS system. So that's something you might want to go into, P-R-E-S-S. -S. The next um, moderator is Dawn Carusi. As you can see, she's, she's done a lot in her life. She's from Rhode Island and she's a moderator with such extensive training, background and expertise that it's difficult to even summarize. She provides professional development, serves as adjunct faculty and maintains a private practice. Dawn is a dedicated educator that we count on for her wisdom and insight. I want to thank Dawn for your sleepless nights and your devotion to, to the cause. Dawn is on a lot at night. <laughs> and our dear Jennifer, who is here today, thank you, Jen, for being here. She's a dedicated professional, always striving to learn and do more. She's a school reading specialist in Rochester, New Hampshire, but she lives in Maine which is kind of interesting. In her spare time, she's training as a national letters facilitator. 
Her hand is always up to do more. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, Jennifer. Our next is Beth. Oh, it's supposed to be Beth. There she is. Oh, this program is driving me crazy. We'll skip Beth right now. We'll go to Cheryl. Cheryl Ferlito is currently a special education supervisor of literacy and intervention in Macomb, Michigan. She was a contributing writer for Language Live, Language and Language Live. Her newest project, Sortigories, is a web-based app that is coming soon. She brings her good sense to our group, and we are happy she's here. Thanks so much, Cheryl. Next one is Christy Graber. Dr. Graber is from Kodiak, Alaska. She is one of our, she's our newest moderator. And she serves as the ELA Literacy Content Specialist for the Department of Education and Early Development of Alaska. Um, I've only known Christy to be a passionate and dedicated educator and so glad that she said yes to being a moderator. Thanks, Christy. All right, next is Tanya Gray. Tanya is a 34-year veteran, Texas educator that always brings her teacher perspective to our inside discussions. She's currently the Texas Reading Academy Comprehensive Cohort Leader for Region 14 and an adjunct professor at McMurray University. We often count on her to share her insights on what Texas teachers are doing. As you can see, she's multi-talented from dance instructor to adjunct and serves on many boards too numerous to mention. Tanya's extensive experience make her a valuable team member. Thanks, Tanya. Next, we have Beth. And Beth Houston is a literacy leader in her home state of Georgia. She brings to us 24 years of experience in various roles from regular ed to special ed and beyond. We are grateful for her service. Thanks so much, Beth. And Lori, my dear friend, Lori, who is here. Lori Josephson is from Ohio or Florida, depending on where, what season it is. And she's a dedicated educator and frequent contributor to our group. She brings her extensive experiences in structured literacy. She's a fellow of the Orton Gillingham Academy and retired Wilson language trainer. Lori is forever raising her hand to do more and I appreciate all that she does for us. She's created a mini curriculum, learning how to read with Reese, toolkit that is available for purchase on our Facebook page. I want to thank you, Lori, for your unending dedication to our group. I'm going to cry. I don't know why. <laughs> and now we have Christina. And I don't know where I will put that. It was here. Christina is from New Mexico, and she has completely failed retirement. Right, Christina? <laughs> After 38 years in education as a teacher, coach, and specialist, she is now working for CORE and is a SIPS and Letters facilitator. She believes in high-quality literacy instruction and act actively moderates our group. We are grateful you failed retirement. Thanks, Christina. Next is Dr. Holly Lane. And Dr. Holly Lane is from the University of Florida Gainesville and is our resident advisor. She sometimes will pop in and moderate for us, but it's mostly in an advisory role. We appreciate her contributions to our discussions and questions. Holly and her Florida grad students have recently published an amazing curriculum for K-2 students called You Fly Foundations, an explicit and systematic phonics program. It is available for sale and it is very, very good. I have a, a copy right here. Um, and um, I really, really think it's gonna be a game changer for so many schools. Thank you very much, Dr. Lane. All right, hang on. Next we have Tim, Dr. Tim Odegaard. He also serves as an advisor to our group. He's a professor of psychology and is the chair of the Katherine Davis Murphy Chair of Excellence in Dyslexic Studies at Middle Tennessee University. He is someone that we can always count on for his wisdom and advice, research-based, of course. Thanks, Dr. Tim. All right. 
Our next is Christine McKinnon Riley, and she is a um, she brings to our group her 23 plus years of experience as an educator and administrator. She holds various advanced degrees and is trained in many programs. She works with schools to build support and maintain MTSS systems in the New England community. Thank you, Chris. We have next we have Jeannie Shop, and Jeannie joined our group when it was just eight days old. She's an unquenchable thirst for learning and is a dedicated educator wanting only to help improve reading for students. She currently serves as a public school interventionist reading specialist in the middle school. Jeannie hails from Wisconsin. I wanna thank Jeannie for her dedication to this work. And we also have Sarah Smile. Every time I say that, I wanna, I think of the Hollow Notes song, Sarah Smile, anyone know it? It's really good. Anyway, Sarah brings her expertise over 20 years as a speech and language pathologist to our group on a daily basis. We count on her for some of our tougher questions. Sarah truly enjoys this, um, this work as she moderates um, and, and I see and is commenting often. She, runs, she also runs a Facebook group called Speech Language Pathologists Role in Language and Literacy. We're grateful for her unique perspective. And there's our Ben and Ben Tobit is from Massachusetts and he is our youngest moderator with the least experience. And he holds a master's degree in language and literacy from Harvard's Graduate School of Education. Ben is passionate about schools, about getting it right for students and has often found researching accountability of, of schools. He's doing a project now of trying to make sure that schools that are using curriculum are using well, um, high quality researched curriculum in Massachusetts. I wanna thank Ben for helping us out. And I finally wanna thank every single member of this group um, I also want to, I forgot, Pam Kastner's on this call, and Pam was an original, one of the original um, moderators for us, and I thank her for all her efforts and the amazing work she does in Pennsylvania and around the world. We couldn't do it without her. Uh, I want to thank all of you for being here and for all that you do for this group. This is not just the moderators or, or some of the members that you guys are the reason this group is so successful is because you're there day in and day out posting and commenting and helping everyone else that um, all our newbies that come and we get we get hundreds every day of newbies. So to our to you, drinks off, hats off to all of you. I, I love you all dearly. Thank you for being here. Anyone want to say anything? <laughs> well, uh, well, we need to thank you. I think <laughs> you've been oh, kind of the guiding light, and the you're you're on every day at all hours <laughs> doing. The I know, business. right? <laughs> and I definitely lead by example. So thank you for all of that passion and dedication. I think you've kind of show, shown all of us how possible it is to um, to to make a grassroots movement happen. So let's keep it going, right? Let's keep it go. Keep the ball rolling, everyone. All right. Thank you, Jen. Uh, thank want you, everyone. I want to say thank you to, to, to you, Donna. You have changed my life, but I also want to say thanks to Lori Josephson. She's been saying some nice things on my posts and I really appreciate that. Grace, you're an amazing, amazing Thank woman. You, I want to be just like you when I'm in my 90s. I won't tell everyone how old you are. <laughs> I'm 94. <laughs> I can't believe it. That's, oh, so wonderful. All right, everyone. Uh, Don, I just want to say one thing. I'm reading this quote, and I'm thinking about that. It says, Never, oh, I gotta move it over here a little bit. <laughs> Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens or literacy warriors <laughs> can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. <laughs> That's Margaret Mead, but it's so true. So I just so true. <laughs> thought about that when you were talking, so. Oh, thank you. Yeah, um, I got a, a gift from um, 
Nora Chabazi, and it's a, it was a wristband, and it said, um, "One drop can can change everything." And it was, you know, it was it meant so much to me. Um, and it's so true. We, and we all can do that. And if we all just keep working at it, 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 the change is happening. We can, I can feel it. I know it's happening. So we just got to keep going. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. I love you all. Bye-bye. Take care, everyone. Congrats again, Donna. Thank you.